kind of the way that we ended up in North Carolina was back in early 80s when I was a young man, I always had a dream of, of, of going on a cruise. We were able to get a, a really nice sailboat and fix it up and, and we left Milwaukee, Wisconsin in 1985. So we had a journey as young people for a year and a half or so. He had a friend that um, he worked with talking up North Carolina and just saying it's awesome because the climate is great and we've got the beach and we've got the mountains. When the kids were little, we had already decided that before they got to a certain age in school, we wanted to move south. School-wise, for colleges and things like that, for the kids, it was great. Once he saw Lake Norman, that was it. We fell in love with Lake Norman, and I guess the rest is history. One thing that we're really trying to do uh, here with our business is, is really get more entrenched in my community. My dad and I both feel like it's important to be involved in your community and it's just really it's important to to put yourself forward and kind of immerse yourself in the community because that helps people understand that you do want to reach out and you want to be involved and you want to know the people that you're working with. We're a small family business and sometimes people look at us and even though you know they think we're small we're really not. We just try to keep it very focused again on a, on a family business. Now JDS Wealth Management is a North Carolina registered investment advisory firm. What that means is that we have a fiduciary responsibility to you as a consumer. Now typically a wirehouse broker dealer, they have what's known in our industry as a suitability compliance standard. All that means is they only have to recommend what's suitable. Might not be the best, might not be the worst, it's just suitable. As a fiduciary, I have a legal obligation to you as a client to give you the best advice possible. That gives us the ability to go out into the marketplace and find the absolute best products or strategies available to you. I would definitely say we're different from other financial institutions. It's just a nice laid back atmosphere so you don't have to go in and be intimidated by all the fancy marble and the plaques and the suits and you don't have to come in and feel like you don't know what you're talking about. We really just try to make people comfortable. That gives people a, a very personal level of attention and that's, that's the biggest thing about my dad and that's, the, you know, that's his biggest strength as an advisor is just the, uh, the care he puts in every case individually and the personal attention he gives. I write an article in Lake Norman Magazine every month and what I try to do is just touch on things that are basic and that try to educate the public on everything that's going on. I think he speaks more like the common man where his ideas are more like a lot of people relate to and we've had people that will come to the seminar or they'll see his articles in the Lake Norman Magazine or some of the other, other things that he does and they'll be like, you know what? This guy, he sounds like me. He has the same thinking that I, that I have, and I want to meet him, or I want to, I want to do business with him, and, that, and a lot of people do that. Can I ask you all a favor? Is that a yes or a no? Can I take this off? Can I get comfortable? If you ever come to one of our workshops or come to my office, you'll see that I'm going to be pretty casual, and I want you to be casual and comfortable because I think that people can make better decisions in that atmosphere. All I'm gonna have is a pad of paper and we're just gonna talk. We're just gonna have a friendly chat over a cup of coffee and just let you ask questions of me and, and decide if we're right for each other. At some point, it's not about growth. It's not about taking all this risk to grow a portfolio when you retire. Do you have a systematic plan to withdraw assets in a tax efficient way that will last you for the rest of your lifetime. <laughs> Thanks, dear. I think we're in a position in America today where people are responsible for their own pension planning. More and more people have come to the realization that they're not in a position to handle it by themselves. They need financial professionals to help them do that. I'm very passionate about helping them. And like I said, if that, that's a big deal to me. It's very humbling. It's a big responsibility, but I embrace it. It's just a matter of meeting the right people.